On the outskirts of Antananarivo, Madagascar, is a small five-acre botanical garden set up to protect the endangered lemur. The park is the perfect getaway from the noise and pollution in the capital for a few hours, or if you don't have time to see lemurs in the wild during your trip to Madagascar, or you just have a few hours to spare and want to see lemurs for the last time on your journey. The lemurs in this park are free-ranging, so it's not a zoo. The park is home to seven different types of lemurs and more than 50 individual lemurs including the two critically endangered species, mongoose lemur and black okay. and white ruffed lemurs. The five other types of lemurs in the park are the kokoro shifakas, ring-tailed lemurs, common brown lemur, crowded shifaka, eastern lesser bamboo lemur, and the common brown lemur. Most of the lemurs in the park are rescued pets that get rehabilitated for reintroduction into the wild. Like in all national parks in Madagascar, you are obligated to be accompanied by a guide. Even though the park is small and the lemurs are harmless, you will be accompanied by a knowledgeable guide who will try to answer any questions you may have. Here we see Kokorilla's Shifaka which are indigenous to the dry northwestern forests of Madagascar and are eaters of delicate leaves. The Shifaka of Madagascar are distinguished from other lemurs by their mode of locomotion. These animals maintain a distinctly vertical posture and leap through the trees using just the strength of their back legs. Their spectacular method of locomotion is known as vertical clinging and leaping and their long powerful legs can easily propel them distances of over 20 feet from tree to tree. On the ground the animals cross treeless areas just as gracefully by an elegant bipedal sideways hopping. The Malagasy name Shifaka comes from the distinct call these animals make as they travel through the trees. Shifalk. Kokoro's shifakas live in social groups of between three and ten individuals, and age and sex composition of the groups vary widely. Females are dominant to males, which gives them preferential access to food and the choice of with whom to mate. A home range of between 10 and 22 acres, 49 hectares, is maintained by the wild groups. In the wild, female Kokoro's shifaka give birth to one offspring in midsummer after a gestation period of approximately 162 days. Infants cling to their mother's bellies for the first three to four weeks of life. Then the young shifaka will begin spending a gradually increasing amount of time riding jockey style on mom's back. Infants continue to ride their mother's back, if allowed, during times when they feel threatened until they are five months old. However, by the time the infants are three or four months old, mothers will begin to nip at them to encourage the infants to find an alternate method of transportation.
mia famiglia è del cuore di Cicato, perché sembra di soffrire del fondo. Octopus trees naturally occur in the spiny forest of the southwestern part of Madagascar. The Lemurs Park maintains some of these octopus trees so that visitors can see this unusual plant. Activity plant here. May can I you touch, touch it? it? May yeah. I touch it? Yes. There it goes. <laughs> this is the from the uh, east coast. The black and white ruffed lemur is an endangered species of ruffed lemur, one of two which are endemic to the island of Madagascar. Despite having a larger range than the red ruffed lemur, it has a much smaller population that is also spread out, living in lower population densities and reproductively isolated. It also has less coverage and protection in large national parks than the red ruffed lemur. Three subspecies of black and white ruffed lemur have been recognized since the red ruffed lemur was elevated to species status in 2001. Together with the red ruffed lemur, these are the largest extant members of the family Lemuridae, ranging in length from 3.3 to 3.9 feet and weighing between 3.1 and 4.1 kilograms or 6.8 and 9.0 pounds. They are arboreal, spending most of their time in the high canopy of the seasonal rainforests on the eastern side of the island. They are also diurnal, active exclusively in daylight hours. Quadrupedal locomotion is preferred in the trees and on the ground and suspensory behavior is seen during feeding. As the most frugivorous of lemurs, the diet consists mainly of fruit, although nectar and flowers are also favored, followed by leaves and some seeds. The black and white rough lemur has a complex social structure and is known for its loud raucous calls. It is unusual in that it exhibits several reproductive traits typically found in small nocturnal lemurs such as short gestation period, large litters, and rapid maturation. In captivity, they can live up to 36 years. Hi, guy. We 
we saw the hammer cut on the river that runs close to the lemur's park. A chameleon species was also seen near the river. Indigenous to the spiny forest region of southwestern Madagascar, the radiated tortoise is also seen at Lemurs Park. The ring-tailed lemur is the most recognized lemur due to its long black and white ring tail. The ring-tailed lemur is highly social, living in groups up to 30 individuals. It is also female dominant, a trait common among lemurs. To keep warm and reaffirm social bonds, groups will huddle together. The ringtail lemur will also sunbathe, sitting upright facing its underside with its thinner white fur towards the sun. Like other lemurs, this species relies strongly on its sense of smell and marks its territory with scent glands. The males perform a unique scent marking behavior called spur marking and will participate in stink fights by impregnating their tail with scent and wafting it at opponents.